Welcome back. Uh, well, my graphics driver crashed once again and lost a little bit, lost the recording. Uh, but however, it doesn't, wasn't too much, so let's start this over. So in the second part, I'm just going to finish the car. At least uh, that means filling, uh, modeling stuff that fills out this hole, so we can see that it's just hollow and uh, take care of the shading so let's first oops get an object display uh, I mean uh, render stats and turn on double side so you can see from no problem from below now save yeah so look now everything again freeze transforms delete history okay and now from here we go to the top view and I think what caused my driver to crash was using this transparency I'm not sure but for that uh, matter I, I wrote an own script that introduces transparency like with the 3ds max way pressing alt x and with this it's very simple, it just toggles transparency of your current shader. But with this way at least I don't experience this strange crashing, at least not that often. So it was only once for today. And well now I'm going to model the car floor. Oops. And basically, it crashed on this step, so I'm curious if this works. If this don't work, so I don't know what to do. So I was, you know, extruding like a happy model is extruding. And well, it crashed at this point, so I think I'm good for here. So let's go for this side. Huh, Overcome this. Excellent. And one more to the front, and I'm done. Let's save real quick. Go into the top view and add some divisions for around here and there and. Let's add around three. Introduce reflection and start. Yeah, this looks good. Now we need to um, I'm gonna delete this to fill this out here, this place, and here too. Uh, 
and no. Let's do like that. Save again. Yeah, that's the reason why I save every few seconds. So what let's do now, let's um take all of this and bridge. Oh clumsy me. Not bridge, but bridge this. Then I can isolate and use the um append to polygon tool to fill up these on both sides and well, we could have bridged this because the only thing I'm going to do now is inserting another edge loop and snapping this vertex and then merging here and there and I'm done Save again. So you can do here. Select these two and then these two and this and that. And yep, bridge. And select three here and three there and bridge again. And this looks a little bit off, but it doesn't matter now. So then select uh, here and there. And bridge, and then uh, how do I select? Oh, this is silly. Ah, there. Make a split. Merge here. Merge there. Okay, so let's do our hardening work. To insert, oops, one edge here and one over here, and then I need. That's it. So now we are almost done. Um, yeah, maybe I I need to modify the script so it it's zero point five. Uh, transparency. We we um, raise this up just a little, and here too. And now I want to model. Or insert this uh, uh, thing. Where is this? Yep. Yep. So that's right in the middle. No, I don't need that many divisions. I don't need the caps. I just want to scale this to about there. D 
dupe this. Okay. So we're almost done. The back door needs to be open, so and it's going to be viewed from like this angle. So let me just pivot. Save and open the door. Maybe another pivot. The door opens the pivot pivots from a little bit more inwards and maybe a little bit more here. Oh no. Ah, that's okay. So what does it need to be? What I would do here, this is like I modeled the other car, is to um, select some of these faces. Grow the selection. Well, maybe need one more here. So now grow, and you see it. Um, oh, the lag. Need for a save. We do a extra. Yeah, what is it called? Extract. Oh wait, no. For doing this, I need to duplicate the door. Can hide it now. Now I do my stuff with the with the extract. Oh no! Nah, what do I do? Delete this. Unhide the other, and just. Zero out rotations and now everything is fine. And maybe before, so just we know where the pivot was, I'm going to uh, create a locator and place it exactly on the pivot so you can put in the pivot back there later. So now extract, now we got this mesh. Extract it from that mesh. <coughs> and now we extrude just like that. There is it, we got a beautiful door. Very simplistic. Uh, not so beautiful, maybe. Let's fix this. Okay, very nice. So let's see how this looks in smooth. Okay, I regret it. I would have liked this to be 
No, but no, it's, I think we're okay. We can just select the border edge and extrude this. Yep. That's legit. So now I'd like to add in some, some nice things here. So for that we could select this and maybe this too. And then we extrude. So I get this nice little shape in here, and we can then extrude this. And extrude once more and move down. Now we need to move this double edge. Okay, so I got this nice little, like, uh, put away things, stuff. And I think this should work. Maybe we can, yep. So now, Let's parent this back to this main door. Put the pivot right. And our door opens good. Okay. So we got what is this from? That's strange. Maybe I do have... Okay. So we now know it's inside this group. It's the group itself. Okay. So whatever, we need to fix this.
Hmm. How do I fix this so that it doesn't interpenetrate? Maybe I can. Okay, very good. I now have a problem here. I moved this one in and forgot about that. Okay, this is very good. So we can now uh, go ahead and delete the other side door and uh, uh, Dupe the group, freeze transform the group, not in rough. So I'm thinking about doing the front door as well, but Maybe I, I do this little, uh, this, there's a thing inside of the car, you know, this, uh, you know what I mean, I need to do this as well, because when the camera is like viewing from here, we would see entire emptiness here, so uh, I think I need to model some of the interiors, so let's start right away, first of all, start a little bit of shading and introduce a uh, transparent material for our glass. Okay. And now we see we sure can do some of the interiors, you know, very basic. So let's start. Safe, just in case of crashing.
Hmm. Let's try one of the front door inners first. So this um, I'm now doing another thing. Uh, is um, first duping the door. I'm getting rid of this. And now inside of here. Maybe no. Maybe I want to select this and just to this point. No, invert and delete. Okay. What we get now is a duplicate of this other phrases. Now I can start working from here, extruding this in. Maybe we to do this with offset. Maybe this gives. Oh no, it doesn't work. Always fucks around. So got nothing more left than doing. Oh man, come on. Nope. Oh. Okay, no. Double checking to see if I didn't make any mistakes. Two faces selected, that's okay. Okay. So now. Taxi zero one, I call this. I'm just having another name. Just in the rare case, Maya crashes with uh, destroying my file. This haven't this didn't happen to me and ever, but I, I've got um, I know some people who experienced this that after Maya crashing on a file, the file wasn't. Was, was broken so after I get a few um, progress I usually uh, save the file on another name you know incremental save on a normal workflow this is very useful but I do it just uh, not very often so every now and then every few hours So this wouldn't to be this much. Okay. And then we can also reduce this. And this looks nice. So parent and let's see how this looks like. 
Yep. Looks legit. Ah, one thing I forgot is to Safe. I maybe want to have one of these here too, but it's going, to, it's going to be a different, a little bit different. So I want the hole to be a little bit deeper or lower on the mesh. This looks like is it? What is this? Ha. Hmm. Let's delete this and fill the hole. Repair. Okay. Then. So it doesn't make any sense how it looks now, but I think I'm leaving this as is. Now making another one here. Ew. I want to smooth this out on the lower side. Okay, maybe I want to harden this. Yeah, like this. Something has gone wrong here. Let's see if this can be fixed easily. Looks so. Oh, very nice. That was. Oh, leg safe. Very nice. Looks um, strange in some way, but I'm going to leave this now as is. This is not part of the door. Yep. Then we can select this door and delete it. And. Save. Delete 
history. What the hell? And this is yep. very good. Okay, so we wanted the indoors, it's okay. Then I would like to uh, normally it's not this far out, but I'm going to leave this now. I don't know, not a little bit less transparent. Okay, um, what do I do now? I think I'm going to do this thing that goes over here and like add stability to the car in a physical uh, way not because of this car wouldn't pass any crash test if we don't model this but just because if it needs to look Let's block this in. Ha. That was fast. Okay. Now we need to harden this too. One here, one there, and do I need more? I need to keep this these edges. So now with this model we can um, save again, freeze, transform, silly history, duplicate and mirror and mesh combine, edit mesh, merge. Okay. So there we are, this is finished. 
can open the door and we see this, which is good. Then I want to model a little bit of the front part, put in the seats and get in this. And then we finish with modeling and we can go up to texturing. Uh, yeah, so let's be fast. We can get rid of all of this. We don't need all of this. Because one, two, three, four, five. Let's insert five. Go into the top view. So now let's match this a little bit better. Yep. Insert two more edges down here. And now If we take a look at our no, ah, they didn't put in anything here, but however, I know that this needs to go a little bit more inside here, and we can do a little bit of a scaling here. And this was just for the upper part, so we can now start to move things back slightly. Excuse me. Save and let's do um, the back sides. Now what we can do is put in this thing here a little bit more, put these out a little more. And extrude these inward for the feet. delete this from everything we don't see so uh, let me save this and get rid of the floor 
everything here we don't need. Very good. None of this either. I notice I have been in not so many cars. I don't know what the, what to do now with this. Maybe I can just move this back. Yeah, that works. At least I got a little bit more, more space here to work with. And now I can... So I say I'm okay with this, though it does look very nice. I'll have to work. Oh, this is not required. All I can do now is Move this thing back. I don't like the rounded thing, so I'm gonna put in some edges here. Now oh, this looks better. Okay. Now I can select these faces. And extrude them back to about here. Then let's see how this looks smoothed. Oh, it looks okay. So now let's add the seats. I'm modeling them very simplistic. Let's start with a cube.
like that. And then can maybe insert two edge hoops. Scale them out. Insert two others. Scale them out and move this down. Insert another two. Get a little bit of roundness. Now we can select these two. Maybe do a little bevel. Okay, and then since I'm a min maxer, I'm gonna just duplicate this and reuse it. So one here and there. Move this up. Cut in this roundness. Ergonomic. I've gone too big. Wow. What shit? I need to reduce this in size. Significantly. Well, maybe you can move this more to the right or inner. Move this forward. No, even even smaller. Huh. 
Okay. Ah, this looks better. Much better. I don't want to model anything in between these two, so I'm uh, just put them together like this. Okay. So now let's group all of this together. Dupe and mirror. And I think we can make these bigger just slightly. Much better. Okay. Then let's do this again and move them back to around here. And now maybe move them out ever so slightly. Now I select one of these two, move them to the center, oh man, what's the center, ah, this, okay, that may be okay, and then select one of these, move this over here, Ah, that's it. Okay, save. Now I want to model something just to hide this. Uh, what do I do for this? Oh, very simple. Let's take a plane. I see a problem. The seat is showing through this car thing. Hmm. Maybe I move this in a little bit closer. So what is this? I want it to disappear. No, this is too close. Okay, move it away. And now I think I'm going to. I mean, I'm not. I have no problem with this. I have a problem with the seat sticking out. So I'm gonna take this and move this in until it disappears. Did this make anything? Yes, it did. Excellent. So here again. Let's 
save. Okay, so since we now have a new one, let's get this and delete it. Let's grab this group and do this. It's gonna work. So that works. This looks okay. Everything looks fine from the inside, so now let's just take this plane. Scale it out. And we can even move it up. And put us inside the uh, seats. No, that's this. Since we're doing it this way, we can move it down to the bottom. Like that. Move it forward. Save. And now uh, extrude this to lock this. Okay, and the only thing we need to do is insert some edge loops for the plane. Let's do five. And some more here. I mean, let's do um, maybe four. Edge, turn reflection on. Okay, now I see one last problem, I think, and that is this thing that is very, very, very uh, flat. 
Uh, look, open the door. I'll see this. Well, at the top, it has to be at least a little bit flat, uh, thicker. So I think I'm just going to add thickness to this. And see how this looks. Well, that solved the problem. No, this looks a little bit ugly here, but I think it's okay. I mean, it's like a very normal and often used cap. It's, and this is how it looks. So, let's model this one last app. That would be the little... Sh uh, uh, like sign at the top. How does this look? So here you can see it is um, uh, in this direction, uh, and it has a very simple shape. I might need. Uh, I think I'm going to to get one of these textures for the doors, and yeah, one of these too. So, but this is something I can write on my own, and the map is a texture on a planner mapping for the door. That's not very hard. So let's not do very basic modeling of this and then do the basic shading and then we are done. So save here, get cube, put it around uh, here. Duplicate this, scale this down. So we get like this. Then now let's delete the lower face and start to make our harden. It was a little bit too much. Okay. Mm, yeah, looking good. So let's do the same on this, but here I'm going to choose another way. Select all and then just bevel it. Point two. Save. And we got this a uh, little bit more. Now let's insert two edge loops on this. And um, bevel these. Maybe smaller, 0 0.05. And select these two and scroll down like this. And we got it. So we're done. Our taxi is modeled. And now it's just about to get some basic shading on it. So let's select. Um, first of all, we need to unparent everything from everything else. So it would be all of this inner doors. 
so that we can select now the hull and the doors. And this too. And let's assign a um, let's assign a car paint. <coughs> I want to reduce the flakes just a little. up, change the color yep let's assign a basic texture for the tires material X Preset, let's choose some, uh, I don't know, some uh, presets, matte to finish, and let's reduce the color to almost black. Let's get for these and for home. Oh. Uh, for these first, some new material, X. Presets Chrome. Save. So let's assign the same material for this little part here. And nice is to um, starting to get the materials is to rename them. That's okay. We need another name. I like zero one. Um, now, assign Chrome. This may be Chrome two. And uh, this is sticking out here. Not good. Solved. Okay. This needs to get a warm color since it's also visible on the inside. Uh, let's choose a new material X. And let's preset it with. Um, What is this? What does this look like? Pearl finish. Uh, uh, <laughs> rubber. No. Nope. Let's choose pearl finish. And change this color to maybe a yeah something like this. And now I want to use this color. Ah. For my inside this. So let's save, let's invert. Now we not just need to insides. Yeah. Same on the other side. Um. Insides. Okay. 
insights. Yep, looks good. Maybe even for this. Okay. Ah, and uh, this tool. Oh no, come on, Maya, please, no, 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 no. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? That's the time when I get too much on the floor, I forget to save, and now the fuck is gone. Okay, restart the shit out. Always in shading, always in shading. Now shut the fuck up and let me. Uh, I think I caught this taxi now. Oh, come on, this fucking work. I hate this. Safe. Now let's go hand some these insides. Sign. I don't like this color anymore. I'm gonna change this. Maybe let's choose a little bit more into a brownish, a little bit darker. Uh, not so saturated we like this. Yeah, that's much better. More neutral. So for the seeds we can use our So new material, what's this arrow? No oh, fuck it. Material X. Let's call the seats and assign rubber. Maybe make color just a little bit brighter. And a little bit of color into it like this. Okay. So I'm going to sign for this one a simple blin blin backlights get a reddish color like this and this one is front lights Blim front lights. This one's a little yellowish, bit brighter. Like that. Okay. So we get chrome, we get this. And the only thing we need to do is. Um, Putting texture for this sign, although I'm, I think I'm going to design an own thing for this, even if it's never going to be seen in the movie. And uh, oh yeah, we need to make this. So let's add shader for this, which is going to be. A blin also, blin taxi lights, and this is an orange, very orange, very bright, and let's have it. Okay, like this. Yep, that looks cool. 
And then for this part, let's assign new material. It's going to be simple Lambert, colored black, Lambert underscore uh, sign zero one. And let's assign this Lambert to this and this. Save. Here. Yeah. So what I could do from here is since I forgot to add in a hard on edged here and here, now uh, I'm thinking about making this black too. Let's see how this looks like. Let's choose Lambert Science for now. Oh, that looks better. Gives it a little bit more diversity. So let's do this on the other side too. And then maybe what we could do is insert one edge loop here and paint this completely black. So we get a little pointless uh, thing there, but it gives it even a little bit more. So I think I'm going to do the same here. Add material. Now let's choose um, uh, what should I give it? Seeds, insides, Nah, let's keep the tires now. So And that's it. We modeled our basic cab in about I don't know two hours, three hours, it should be in three hours. So uh, if you got any questions on this just write me on YouTube or so. See you soon.